Okay, this last video we'll, we'll look at example 7 and 8 where we've got uh, discounts. So example 7, we've got a discount and um, on, on a calculator and then we're going to add sales tax at the end. And example 8, we've got a discount on a, a buying a table at a furniture store and then afterwards we're going to add on the get the total price with the sales tax added on. Okay, So let's look at example 7. A calculator that normally sells for $100 is on sale for 10% off. If the sales tax rate is 5%, what is the total price of the calculator? What I'd like you to do with this is to make a quick guess as to what you think the answer is. Do not do much calculation, just have a look at that right away and see if you can write down the complete answer. What is the total price of the calculator? Now look at this. It's on sale for 10% and the sales tax rate is 5%. Okay, so you're going to take the $100, you're going to subtract 10%, and then afterwards you're going to add 5% back on again. So what should the total price be? Any idea? Care to take a, a quick guess? You might guess that the total price is, uh, you might go, okay, let's take $100, right? If I'm going to subtract 10%, that would be subtract $10, cause it t and so I'd have 90. And then if I add the 5% back on again, you might think, oh, the answer might be $95. And do you think that's right? $95, we're going to show that that's completely wrong. The answer is not $95. Okay, so let's go over this. Um, and see. So it's on sale for 10% off. What we've got to do is calculate first of all the discount amount. So we have to figure out what is 10% of $100, right? So turn 10% into a decimal and calculate 10% of 100. 10% of course is 10 over 100 or you can just, as you know, move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left, 0 0.10 of multiply, multiply by 100. 10% of 100, of course you can calculate that if you like. 100 times 0 0.10, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, put down a placeholder 0 times by 1, 1 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 decimal, and, and add, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 2 decimal spaces in the an, in the question, 1, 2, so it'll be 2 in the answer, 1, 2, so I get 10.00 or 10. And of course, you might have guessed that 10% of $100 is ten dollars so ten percent off a hundred dollars of course is ten dollars right so the discount amount is ten dollars so the um, the um, kind of discount price if you like is now going to be the hundred subtract the ten dollars, right? Hundred dollars subtract ten dollars, which is ninety. So the discount price is ninety. But we now have to the sales tax is five percent, so we have to calculate total price. So we have to add on five percent sales tax, right? that make sense? So to calculate the sales tax don't we have to get 5% of the actual price that you're paying? I mean you're paying $90 for the thing. So you have to get 5% of 90 because that's the money you're you're going up to the cash register, you're giving them $90, you know, and then they're going to 
add on 5%. So the sales tax we have to calculate is 5% of 90. So go ahead and calculate what is 5% of 90. You've got to turn the percentage into a decimal. 5% is 5 over 100, 500, and you might remember you can just move the decimal point two spaces to the left, 0 0.05 or 0 0.05. Of means multiply, so multiply by 90, right? So 0 0.0, oh, let me do, that ah, doesn't matter, 0 0.0590. Uh, probably be nicer to multiply around the other way, wouldn't it? 90 times 0 0.05 500 zero, zero, five nines 45 and then multiply by a bunch of zeros don't need to do that one two decimal places in the question so one two in the answer I get 4.50 so 0 0.05 times 90 is 4.50 so the sales tax which is 5% of the $90 you have to pay is $4.50 so isn't the total price the the kind of discount price plus the sales tax right so we found the discount price which was $90 we found the sales tax amount which was four dollars fifty, right? And don't we have to add those guys together? If I take the discount price and I add on the sales tax, don't I get the total price? That's how it's done, right? Discount price, add the sales tax, you get the total price, right? Of course, ninety dollars is ninety point zero zero. So when we're adding decimals like money, we add the cents and then the dollars, right? Okay, so without further ado, the total price becomes ninety-four dollars fifty cents. Okay, and uh, yeah, and that's the answer. I, I guess some, so, uh, and I guess the, the the trick is the sales tax of five percent is applied once again to the actual price you have to pay ninety. Like the five percent is not applied to a hundred dollars because you don't have to pay a hundred dollars for a thing. You just have to pay uh, ninety dollars, right? Example 8, going to find the discount price and then the total price with sales tax included. So a store offers a 15% discount on a table, a furniture store. Okay. If the regular price on the table is $240, what is the sale price Okay, or the discount price? So um, you have to figure out, first of all, the discount amount. Uh, what is the amount to be discounted? So press pause and see if you can get that. The discount amount is what? Discount amount is 15% of 240, right? Now turn this into a decimal and calculate what is 15% of 240. How do you turn a percent to a decimal? Well one trick is you can just move the decimal point two spaces to the left and get 0.15 or 0.15. Of means multiply, multiply by 240, right? So let's calculate that. Five times zero is zero. Five times four is twenty, carry the two. Five times two is ten. Ten and two is twelve. Put down a placeholder zero, multiply by one. One times zero is zero. One times four is four. One times two is two. And well, you can multiply by zeros, but you don't need to. Add everything, zero, zero, six, three. We have one. 
two decimal spaces in the question, so we're going to have one, two in the answer. 36.00, right? Or 36. So the discount amount becomes $36. That's the discount amount. What is the sale price or the discount price? Okay. Well, can you press pause and calculate the sales sale price, the actual price that you have to pay? Uh, well, 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 the before tax, the before tax price, basically. Well, don't you take the regular price and subtract the discount, right? Regular price, subtract the discount amount, and we get $204. So the sale price is this. Okay, $240 is the sale. $204 is the sale price. Now, next part. If the sales tax rate in this particular state is 6%, how much is the total bill for the furniture table, right? For the table at the furniture store. Sorry. So let's see the actual price has become $204 so press pause and see if you can figure out the rest of the question and give, give yourself like, you know three or four minutes and try it and then I'll do it with you so don't we have to take the sale price and add tax to it and doesn't that give the total price does that make sense? So we're going to take the sale price, we're going to add tax, and we should get the total price. So the sale price, of course, is $204. We do not know the tax price, the, the tax amount yet, in order to get the total, right? So we need to calculate the tax. So to calculate the tax, we have to get 6% of what? 6% of Two hundred and four, right? Six percent of the amount you actually have to pay. You actually have to pay two hundred and four dollars. So you get six percent of that, not six percent of two hundred and forty. Like, cause that that isn't the, the price anymore. It, it was yesterday, but today there's a discount, fifteen percent. So the actual price of the table is two hundred and four dollars. Therefore, you pay sales tax on the actual price. Okay. Don't let them uh, cheat you on that. <laughs> 6% of 204 dollars. Turn 6% into a decimal. Once again you can take the decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the left, stick in a zero, and we now have point zero six. Or zero point zero six. Of means multiply, multiply that by two hundred and four we can do that 204 0 0.06 multiply 6 4 is 24 carry the 2 6 0 is 0 1 2 is 2 6 2 is 12 I have 1 2 spaces in the question so 1 2 decimal places in the answer so I get 12 24 the tax 6% of 204 dollars is twelve dollars twenty four. So the tax I need to add on is twelve twenty four. Okay. So I'm taking my sale price two hundred and four dollars. I'm adding on the tax, and what's the total price? And of course, two hundred and four dollars two is two hundred and four point zero zero. So and and when you add the decimals, the de decimals you need the decimal point underneath each other because you're adding the cents, then the dollars, right? So four. Two decimal point comes here, six one two. So the total price two hundred and sixteen dollars and twenty four cents. Right.